welcome to today's video. Welcome today's, to today's Vlogmas episode. Hope you guys are having a wonderful start to your holiday season. Thank y'all for joining us for these daily videos. I hope y'all are enjoying them. I don't know if I just said that, but right now we're actually on our way to us. We're gonna go to my parents' house and help them decorate their tree because we don't have our tree up yet. So we're gonna decorate their tree. What? Why are you looking at me? Because we don't have our tree. I was just looking at you. Uh -huh. So we don't have our tree and it's also, we are going to be under a flash flood watch for the next like two days. Um, so having an outdoor tree really isn't that optimal for flash flood. I'm not quite sure when we're gonna get it up and decorated, but of course you guys won't be the first to know. You won't be the first to know. You'll be like a couple days behind, but that's okay. Anyway, so we're gonna go over there and decorate. Um, she's baking some brownies. We're gonna have some dinner. How do you like this weather? It's my favorite. Isn't it great? It's so good. Why can't every day be like this? Right? We had, uh, we had some more plans, but right now basically we have to get stuff to bunker in for the night in case we get flooded in. Because we're under flood watch until tonight, right? Or tomorrow? Yeah. So, um, but we have a plan for our tree which I guess we'll have to wait until tomorrow to do. Yep. So, we're gonna go to the store, get some supplies, and then... Supplies! Supplies! <laughs> and then we'll head home for a little uh, topic talk of the day. So, we will see you guys when we get home. All right. <laughs> this is the most fun part, is taking the dogs out whenever hold it's hold raining. On. Are you ready? No. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! Oh my gosh. Yeah, you can leave it open. But <laughs> I'm not going out there. All right, come on. Here we go, just wipe you off. You don't need to shake. Okay, you just walk around with this on you. That's perfect. Here we go, now you go over there. And then this one. <laughs> I just saw the tail. <laughs> Where are you going with the queso? The nook. <laughs> Today's lunch. We've got some good old fashioned chili cheese dogs um, with this really, really delicious chili that we found uh, at a little health food store here in town. It's called Chili Man Chili. It's really good. So we've got this chili, our little hot dogs, wheat buns, and then some queso that I just made up with some avocado on top. What is going on here? <laughs> You're going to hurt him. I'm not going to hurt him. I'm going to get him off the bed. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't look like he wants to get off the bed. <laughs> oh, this is going to be bad. 70 pound baby. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he minds. Look. <laughs> Brady. Off the bed. Come on. Come on. Turn Go. it around. Turn Go. it around. Come on. Go. Get down. Hey. <laughs> Get down. Go. Hey. Go. Good boy. Go lay down. Get in your bed. Get oh no. Oh, there goes a deer. 
running through the mud. What's up guys? Welcome to our bed. This is 90% of our time. <laughs> Welcome to our bed. It's a nasty rainy day outside. So we've been hanging out here. Um, we're about to decorate our tree, which will be in tomorrow's video. It's going to be, be very, exciting. It'll be interesting. Yeah. I don't know how it's going to go. Um, so mm. I thought that we had a question sent in to us. I think his name was Andrew099. Username. Anyway, he asked us um, our favorite Christmas memory or a memorable Christmas memory. Yeah. Um, so I thought that'd be kind of nice to share from you for for you guys. Um, and then I'd love to hear some of y'all. Just what's your favorite Christmas memory? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Blair. Yeah. Uh, so mine's actually really simple. Mine. Uh, there was a Christmas, which I, I know a lot of people have something like this. It's in all the movies and things like that too. But the night that I saw Chris or uh, old Chris Kringle fly over, yeah, Santa, Santa flew over the house, and uh, he even wrote me a letter uh, saying, "Yep, that was that was me you saw." Something like that. So yeah, I guess my parents did that. Aww. I mean, can you elaborate a little bit on this yeah, so, occasion? I, I mean, I was young. I was like four or five, if that. Um, and, uh, I remember sitting by the piano. Oh yeah, it must have been like five or six, actually. Uh, cause that's when we got our piano. I remember sitting by it and I was like practicing something and then my parents came in and brought me like a letter. And then, uh, that's how I remember it at least. And the letter actually said, like, um, I'm pretty sure it was an airplane, by the way, that I saw. Something, something <laughs> like that. But yeah. Could have been a shooting star. Yeah. I mean, it could have been a shooting star. No, it's probably an airplane. It just happened to be like, I was looking out the window right before I was going to go to sleep. And it was probably their way of getting me to go to sleep, you know, like, it, a lot of parents do that, too. Um, but yeah, should, should there be, like, a spoilers alert at the beginning of this thing? Like, <laughs> Santa's not real. <laughs> spoilers. I'll add it. I'll add a little caption before you start your story. Yeah, do that. Yeah, because, I mean, uh, I know, I, I saw him go by, and it was, like, right by the moon. I remember the whole, like, it was, like, a hazy night. I even went outside after I saw it, and I, like, told my parents all about it, and... Yeah, they, I guess they wrote a letter, like, the next day. Yeah. Aww. After he ate his milk and cookies and did whatever he did. Oh, I've got a kind of similar in that it involves Santa Claus. Um, oh, come on. <laughs> and really, I mean, if you think about it, like, again, spoiler alert, our, does parents, it, are going to to, our parents are going to great lengths to, um, you know, to keep Deceive the magic us. alive. Oh, yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> it's just really sweet. Don't move too much. You're shaking the camera. Um, okay, so my memory, I was probably about five or six, and we lived in a house in South Austin, and um, we were going, the whole family, me, so I'm one of four siblings, and then my parents, we were going to go look at Christmas lights real late one night on Christmas Eve. Uh, so we all got in the car, and it was dark, of course, and we went to look at Christmas lights all throughout town. Well, when we came back, Santa had actually come while we were gone. Um, so there were presents all under the tree, and that was the year that we got a Nintendo console, and Santa had made sure that the Nintendo was working mm -hmm. before, um, so there were little ash prints on the controller, and there was a boot print in the fireplace, um, and I just remember coming back and just the wonder and, like, amazement, because I was like, oh, Santa came while we were gone! <laughs> and for years, you know, afterwards, um, I tried to figure it out, and... I think that my parents had had the neighbors come over. But anyway, it's still like, it was so cool because, you know, in, in that moment, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. Santa mm. came even though we weren't here. And we kind of got Christmas early because all the presents were there and we got to play with them and then went to bed and then opened more presents in the morning. Um, so it was really, really cool. I, I, I give my parents props for that because I was really creative. Yeah. Made the magic last longer. Yeah. 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 I mean, that that solidified in my mind. Like, he, there's no way it could have been my parents, because... <laughs> I guess we're going to start doing this stuff to our kid, right? Well, like, not... We, we've got a couple years before we have to worry about oh, they're that. They're going to be 20 before they find out. Santa comes real. for the puppies. Don't, don't tell them that. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, want, so yeah. I want them to think that I just thought <laughs> that was really, really cool. And uh, I think we, we still talk about it to this day, like my family, because it was just mind-blowing. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Santa was really creative. We found um, reindeer food on the roof and on, you know, like out in the yard. Your parents let you on the roof? <laughs> no, you look up on the roof, it was up there. 
after it's on the ground, then my dad's like, oh, it's on the roof too, look! Because they wanted us to make sure that we saw that they threw it up on the roof too. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they just... <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> but it was up there. Yeah. So it was just, you know, thinking back of those memories, is it makes your heart warm. It's just good times. Good times. It's like the whole, like, behind the, the thing that's like, yeah, your parents are just lying to you. <laughs> just lying to you. But it, it's magical. Yeah, it is. Oh, I would. I wouldn't have it any other I, way. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's fun to think about that kind of stuff. Keeps imagination alive. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but um, well, I want to hear from you guys in the comments below some of y'all's favorite Christmas memories. Yeah. Um, I think that'd be really cool to read some of y'all, and they don't have to be involving Santa Claus, but. <laughs> I mean, if they do, they do. Any good or fun Christmas memories, we'd love to read them below. Giveaway alert. We'll, we'll pick one to send y'all a little goodie. Ooh. How's that sound? It's one memory. We'll, we'll pick one and uh, send you a little gift in the mail. Yeah, I can tell you what it is. It's from Santa. Yeah, it's from Santa. And make sure you're subscribed because that's one of the requirements. But anyway. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure and hit that thumbs up. Stay tuned for tomorrow's vlog mess. And we will see y'all in the morning. The morning? Yeah. Cool. Be merry out there. Bye. Thank you.